I've always been amazed over the years how people seem to be attracted to the things that they need. I mean, I have had, I remember one friend of mine, he actually used to be a photographer for a mainstream newspaper in the Midwest, um, but he was losing his memory so badly, he would ask you something four times in a row and then not even realize that he'd asked the question and he'd answered him. And, well, he was, he was a little, he was getting a little older. I mean, it may have been the start of Alzheimer's or something. Uh, who knows? But I remember one time he just started questioning me about flaxseed oil, and I hated to brush him off, but I really didn't have that much time. I really didn't give him too good of an answer. Um, but he was just so inquisitive about it, and I thought, well, that's odd. You know, for somebody who doesn't know what flaxseed oil is, he seems to be awfully attracted to it. Or, you know, the landlord I had who just seemed to, to be hanging on my words as I told her what I thought helped me when I had cancer. It, it just seems like, you know, people are attracted to just naturally have some kind of intuition that draws them to what they need. And, you know, if you sat through this long video, <laughs> and, and, and maybe, maybe it's because something on this is what you need, I don't know. Um, but it, it's, uh, that, that has always amazed me. So people have to do their own research and decide what's right for them. I mean, you can't you can't tell people what to do. They have to they have to um, figure it out for themselves. I, I never went to see a doctor for this, so I don't have a cancer diagnosis officially. In fact, when I'm filling out insurance forms at the company where I'm you know consulting, if they have insurance for consultants, which is pretty rare. Um, and they ask you if you've had cancer before. I check the no box because. I don't have a diagnosis of cancer on my medical records. I never went to get that diagnosis. Now, you can judge for yourself by the symptoms whether or not it was cancer. Um, you know, I can't prove I had it. Uh, I didn't care to go and get diagnosed. I know that a lot of times, now here again, you have to decide for yourself whether you want to get a biopsy, whether you want to get uh, any kind of surgery. Uh, I had read accounts on the internet uh, saying that a lot of times biopsies spread cancer, that, you know, your body's walling off the, the whatever causes it, you know, Royal Rife thinks it's a virus. I, most doctors, most serious research doctors I've noticed these days seem to think the virus SV40 is responsible. Royal Rife in the 1930s isolated uh, a virus with a super microscope so he was actually able to see it. It was egg-shaped and, um, you know, beautiful uh, purplish-red color. Um, and uh, basically, you know, but, but anyway, going back to the biopsy theory, uh, people, a lot of people or a lot of doctors think that, uh, or a lot of cancer researchers think that biopsies sometimes spread it because your body has walled off that virus for a reason. Uh, you know, it's a really path, pathogenic thing, and <laughs> it doesn't want it getting out into your body at large, so it just kind of walls it off in a big tumor. And, you know, that's the theory anyway. And I know a lot of times, uh, it's reputed that biopsy spread cancer, so I didn't want to even get a biopsy. Um, one doctor I know who is a friend of mine uh, said, well, why don't you just have the lump removed? And, you know, I told him, well, you know, first of all, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but also, you know, because when I read about people who have cured their own cancer through alternative method methods, I mean, some, sometimes they get it removed, sometimes they don't when it's actually walled off like that into a lump. Uh, but it, it didn't seem like getting it removed helped at all, like the people who didn't get it removed seemed to fare just as well. Now, this is from my own personal experience. I mean, you'll have to do your own research and judge for yourself. Um, but basically, I told them, well, you know, the problem with surgery is that uh, the doctors aren't going to want to stop there. They're going to re remove my lymph nodes as well, which I need. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was zapping, and I... Uh, put the zapper over there and now it's beeping at me because it's angry I'm not there. It's time to start the seven minute cycle. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, I just didn't opt for that. I didn't opt to, to be diagnosed. Uh, you know, another thing doctors a lot of times will do to you is uh, when they discover that you have cancer is they'll just rush you into surgery. And, you know, once you're under the knife, they'll just remove whatever they feel like removing. I mean, that's part of whatever you sign going into the hospital. Um, they, for some reason, think that you would consent to that because, you know, you must be crazy if you wouldn't want to have that done. Um, so I just didn't want to go through that. I wanted, I mean, I had done my own research before I even had these symptoms, and I already knew that I'd be starting, if I ever had gotten cancer, I'd be starting with a zapper and some other methods. In this case, I felt I needed to add some stuff to the zapper 
you know, a lot of times if you read how the clerks work, it does seem like, you know, a while back it used to be like a six-week program. She may have reduced that somewhat by adding other techniques in. Um, but, you know, I, I know that there are varying lengths of time to me. You know, maybe if I had that, just simply zapped every day for six weeks, it, it would have worked. But it was very uncomfortable for me. There were some bad symptoms there. Um, you know, I had to be able to work through it. I, uh, I just had to get through it as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know if everything I did was absolutely necessary or not. Uh, I was just really improved with how much the uh, flaxseed oil portion accelerated my recovery. Uh, so, you know, you kind of just have to judge for yourself as a moral story. Whatever you try may or may not work for you. Uh, I, I was really amazed with the flaxseed oil thing, though. Um, but back to not getting a diagnosis. I mean, you're going to have to judge for yourself. I have to judge for myself whether I think the symptoms are cancer. Uh, I have never heard of anything being benign and, and going through or, or having all the symptoms I had, um, but maybe it's possible.